Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Sir Cypher here with Let's Play Company of Heroes Tiger Ace Mission 3. So we escaped from uh, enemy lines and um, now it's time for our, our revenge. And again, unlike the first mission, the second and third missions are fairly fanciful, but they're still really fun to play. This is actually probably, in terms of just being fun, Probably this mission is probably my favorite mission out of the whole campaign in any of the the game or any of the expansions, because it's just and it's just you feel like, just like a a god striding amongst mortals, which is probably what it was like to be a tiger, <laughs> a tiger crew member, um, during Normandy. Tommy put up a good fight, but the German people thought our tanks were unstoppable. We had to return to Villa Bocage to show them that they were. So we've got a buddy now. So we have a buddy which is a triple veteran, a triple veteran uh, tiger. Um, but uh, we still have our main tank. This tiger doesn't have all of the cool upgrades and stuff like our tiger does. But it's good enough. Now we basically... Um, we have to secure this village for a counterattack by our troops. There's a Sherman Firefly here, which I'm about to blast the crap out of. It's kind of funny, but actually the way this stuff is represented in this mission, where you're just like destroying all these British tanks with one hit, is actually more accurate than the normal game. Um, there's almost, there's basically no allied tank besides maybe the Pershing, which only really showed up in the later end of the war. Well, I should say on that, the Eastern Front, on the Western Front. Since our escape, the 7th Armored Division has dug in around Villa Bocage. We need to clear the roads for Panzergrenadier support. Destroy all British defensive emplacements along these routes. Once that is accomplished, assault the town and have the Grenadiers lock down these strategic sectors. Let's show Tommy our fatherland's resolve and Tiger's strength. So basically what's, what we have to do is our allied troops are going to come down these roads and um, we are going to take out all of the major defenses and support our troops as they uh, advance. Now, I was, what I was saying is that there's basically no... Oh, wait, shit. You go up there. There's basically no... No allied tank that a, that a uh, tiger couldn't pe easily penetrate with a single shot from almost any range. Um, the only exception would probably be the Pershing or the IS-2, which was a Russian tank, but... For the most part, they just didn't have a chance. So our t this, our little ally tiger is going to take the right, and we're going to take the left. So as you can see, we're reloading a lot faster now. 
And our tiger over here is making a good show for itself as well. So we're punching our way through the British lines, which was the original idea of what the uh, Tiger tank would be for. It would be a uh, heavy sort of assault tank. Wow, I bounced off of a uh, off of a uh, Churchill. That's that's pretty interesting. Um, the enemy has a uh, self propelled artillery here, but obviously. No match for my Tiger crew, which is now super veteran and can reload the gun in like 1.5 seconds. I realized I had the wrong type of round loaded as soon as I drove through this hedgerow. The enemy is blasting me with an AT gun. Oh shit. So I might actually have to back the thing up for a second and uh, repair it really quick. Tiger was being silly. Now our secondary objective is to, to take the town in 20 minutes, but it shouldn't take. It shouldn't take anywhere near that long. You can see right here our old, our old tiger tank sitting over here, abandoned. But don't worry, we will resecure it. AT guns trying to turn around, but it's a little too little too late to deal with the awesome majesty of our tiger tank. So we're just going to keep pressing in on the enemy. So at this point, I'm just trying to make things easier for my uh, compatriots in the infantry. You can see, obviously, um, the normal Tiger doesn't have all these crazy advantages, and it doesn't do nearly as much against this 17-pounder, but I can call an artillery on it, and that should help. So, um, yeah, we can't control all of our allies. They just kind of run around all willy-nilly. Uh, 
But for the most part, they do a pretty good job, and they uh, help everybody out. But as you can see, we punched through the enemy defenses, destroyed all their uh, tanks and mobile artillery. The enemy is counterattacking, but they have no idea what they're dealing with. They have no idea who they're dealing with. They don't realize they're dealing with a crack panzer division. And again, the the Firefly had a very effective weapon on it. It's the 17 pounder. But um, it was still based off of a Sherman, so if a tiger could hit it, it would go it would get destroyed just like any other Sherman. That was the last time I saw the interior of a Tiger tank. The last time I saw Schultz. He went on to command the 502 Tiger Gruppe. On August 9th, 1944, he held the advancing Americans at Autry long enough to allow our division to escape Normandy. He died in his Tiger. By September, what was left of our division redeployed to Holland. I assumed command of the Panzerlehr Division as Major General. It had seemed so clear, so necessary. But in the end, senior command had lost its way, and unfortunately, the fatherland followed. So, uh, this campaign saw the end there, but it sort of tries to tie together the American campaign and the Panzer Elite campaign, which we haven't played yet. But uh, Schultz was the guy who was the Tiger Ace, and I think it was like the 12th or the 13th mission. Um, the guy who killed the commander, the captain in charge of the, uh, the company in the American campaign. And the other guy is uh, going to be the commander in charge of the, the Panzer Elite units in the Panzer Elite campaign. So, you know, you've already seen a lot of the one guy of Schultz because we killed him <laughs> in the American campaign. And you're going to be seeing a lot of... I think the guy's name is Voss in the Panzer Elite campaign. But I'm going to be doing the British campaign next. Take a little break from the Germans. And then I'm after the Germans, I'm going to do... Or after the British, I'm going to do the Panzer Elite campaign. So anyway, I love I love the Tiger Ace missions. I think they're a lot of fun. Especially because the first mission is actually a thing that really happened. Um, so it seems ridiculous. You're just striding into this town like a god. And just destroying tanks and armored vehicles and trucks left and right. But that's really what just happened. Uh, so it's kind of cool. I mean, if you're in the Tiger. If you weren't in the Tiger, obviously it wouldn't be that cool. But anyway, thank you for watching and have a nice day.